What does a 1932 Chrysler Imperial and a circus elephant have in common? Find out next. Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another amazing Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Show and Shine. Today we're going to be looking at another great car from my dad's collection. This is his 1932 Chrysler Imperial sedan convertible, the LeBaron. So without further delay, let's go down to the bench and see exactly how my dad built this model and a bit of history of the Chrysler. The Chrysler Imperial Model 80 LeBaron was designed to dwell in the august company of Packard, Cadillac, Lincoln, and Pierce Arrow. Unlike the competition, Chrysler refrained from creating V12 or V16 engines and stuck to their L-head straight eight introduced in 1931. Chrysler pioneered rough proof metal fenders and sheet metal parts in 1929. And for 1932, the car was designed to be rust proof. The chassis was of all welded steel construction, a fact in which Chrysler took such promotional pride that they offered a demonstration to prove its strength at New York's Cooney Island with the help of a five-ton elephant. The ASPCA was aghast, but neither elephant nor car was dented. The 1932 Chrysler Imperial convertible sedan also made it into the movies when it appeared in Charlie Chaplin's 1940 movie The Great Dictator as the Dictator's Touring Sedan. The car also reappears in Roger Corman's low-budget drama Bloody Mama in 1970, which recreates the life of Kate Ma Baker and her sons in the 1930s. The Chicago police also use the Chrysler due to its reliability and speed. The engine is the Chrysler L-Head Straight 8 with 125 horsepower, and the transmission is a 4-speed manual with an automatic clutch. The wheelbase is 146 inches, which is equal to 5.84 inches and 1 25th scale. The overall length is 212.56 inches, which is equal to 8.5 inches in 1 25th scale. The price of the 1932 Chrysler 4-door convertible was 2000 $195, which is equal to you paying $43,595 in 2022. First introduced in 1965 as part of the Gangbusters series with gangster figures and accessories. Released again without the figures in 1967 as both the Ma Baker's getaway car in 1970 and then in 1976 under Airfix and finally in 1979. No new versions appeared after this. Here's a look at the box tops. Now my dad did a really nice job on this model. It features some testers metallic red paint in which he painted it on and the nice copper pinstripes. The roof is painted with testers gloss tan and the trunk lid actually opens. The wheels are steerable but they have that crazy gear assembly that was a MPC trademark which is very hard to manipulate and actually does bind up unless you use some grease in it. And here's the car with the top folded down with the optional boot. My dad made them so that you could interchange. And again, this helps us to see the interior, which we'll look at in a moment. The hood is also removable and the trunk lid flips up. Again, a very nice job. Here we have the driver's side of our Chrysler Straight 8 engine. And there's a lot of components down here. You can also see the steering mechanism and the big gear down here, which is, a, again, a difficult thing. We have a generator up front and there's a starter motor and a lot of other great components. Now one thing I did notice is that the engine is not painted red on the real cars. In fact, it's actually either a gray or a green as shown in these pictures here.
Here we have the passenger side of our Chrysler straight eight engine. You can see the air filter up here leading into our downdraft carburetor, which goes into our intake manifold. Another great feature of this model is the amazing side mounted tires. And here we have our interior for our 32 Chrysler Imperial. Check out the nice chrome plated instrument panels down below. We've got our gear stick lever and a parking brake. And then down below we've got our gas and brake and clutch pedals. Also the really nice steering wheel. And you can see the different tans and browns that Dad painted the interior with. Here we can see the nice dark brown color that Dad painted on those Chrysler seats. Here we've got the opening trunk lid and again you can actually put a few things in here because there's the floorboards in the back of the car. Now here's one thing interesting I noticed about our 32 Chrysler and that is in the suspension. Here we have an I-beam front axle and leaf springs. This axle is actually overslung with the axle sitting over top of the springs and in the rear it is underslung with the axle sitting above the springs. So that's a really interesting way of doing this, but it does keep the front end level with the back end, which is really unique. Here we've got that impossible MPC steering gear with our Pitman arm swinging out of this connecting rod onto our tie rods in here. Again, a complicated system, and I'm going to have to leave this locked this time. I can't really steer it on camera. There's our oil pan for our straight eight engine, as well as the four speed transmission. There is a differential in here on this drive shaft and that goes into our rear axle. And another thing I noticed is that my dad never did paint the exhaust in a silver color. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at my dad's 1932 Chrysler Imperial sedan convertible. And if you would like to help us out in a future venture, what I would love to do is build a museum that showcases both my dad's built model cars as well as my own with a whole bunch of figures and buildings and scenery and all kinds of other cool things. And, you know, it wouldn't be very, very hard to help us in that. We have a join button down below and we also have a Patreon account that you can check out, which I'll leave a link for in the description. And basically for as little as $3 a month, not even the price of a coffee, a month works out to pretty much nothing a day. <laughs> you can help us in order to get to that dream by clicking either the join button and becoming a member to this channel or by going over to Patreon and becoming a member over there. So until next time, everybody, thank you once again for watching this great video and we will be back shortly with another one. So until next time, everyone, Happy model building and have fun out there.